My name is David Muir, and I am a senior explainer at the New York Hall of Science. Being an explainer has not really changed who I am as a person, but it's enabled me to become much more of a professional person. I am aware of how to act in certain situations that are more professional. I know how to interact with people my own age better and how to interact with kids. On a typical day, every explainer might interact on the floor with visitors at tons of different exhibits that we have scattered across the museum. They might prepare for or even do demonstrations and they will participate in other youth development activities. I myself, as a senior explainer, do slightly different things. I will assist in setting up for the daily demonstrations. I will act as the first person most explainers will go to in case they have a question or something comes up that they are unsure how to handle. Now, what the Hall of Science did is it opened up the world of education, whether that's education in a classroom, education in a museum, education in theater, education in video, or anything else. If I had to pick one path for myself going forward, it would be that of a science educator. There are a lot of people in the world, some who I've met at this museum, many who I have not, that love and want to learn about science. And I love and want to teach. And personally, I think video, accessible throughout the entire world, whether in, you're in the US or China or anywhere in between, video is a way for everyone to see and everyone to learn. So if I had a dream place the world would take me, it would be a science educator through through video. In the fall, I'm going to be going to SUNY New Paltz. I'm planning on entering a physics and astronomy dual major. If you can become an explainer, please, please do. If you are interested in science, if you are interested in presenting, if you are interested in growing yourself as a person, all of those, one of those, you should absolutely apply to become an explainer.